What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and it's time for my predictions on the Sora vs. Pit death battle. This is another highly requested episode that they're doing, um... I'm still unclear on what the connections are, besides their spiky hair being brown and such, besides having the same hair, pretty much. I'm very unclear on what the connections are. I mean, I guess they both have to do with light and stuff, because Pit's an angel and whatever. And then Sora is always fighting against darkness for the power of light, ooh! Um, but anyways... This is going to be a very fun battle, but it is also going to be a brutal stomp. I mean, I like both these characters, but Sora should have it hands down. When it comes to power, Pit destroyed the Arum Hive, which comes out to about island level, and several of his bosses range from mountain to country level, so that's actually pretty good. But when it comes to Sora, he has solar system to multi-solar system level feats. And it doesn't matter if you use Disney scaling or not, because he gets these stats either way. With Disney scaling, Sora was able to beat the Titans, who should scale to Zeus, who can manipulate multiple constellations at the same time. Without Disney scaling, Sora was able to defeat Xemnas in Kingdom Hearts 2, when he was powered by Kingdom Hearts. Now, Kingdom Hearts seems to change definition on what it is in each game, I don't know. In the first game, it was dark, but then it was light, and... It was the home to all the Heartless or something. But in Kingdom Hearts 2 specifically, where Sora fought this powered up Xemnas, Kingdom Hearts is basically the essence and power of all the worlds. And the worlds in Kingdom Hearts are basically their own solar system, planet or planets with their own stars and such. This can be seen because whenever a world is destroyed, a star goes out. And Sora was basically able to beat up Xemnas when he was powered by every single last world in the Kingdom Hearts universe. So I think Sora is the clear winner here when it comes to attack potency. Now that we get to the speed category, it's actually pretty close but not at the same time. I'll explain why. So on Sora's side, he has several different massively faster than light feats. There's one where he deflects hundreds of super close range lasers from Xemnas, and while you could argue that those aren't actual lasers, if they were still even just moving at hypersonic speeds, it would still yield massively faster than light results just due to how fast they were traveling, how many of them there were, and how close they were. When it comes to speed, the object isn't all that matters. Dodging a bullet right next to you and dodging a bullet from 50 yards away makes a huge difference. Just just like dodging one bullet and dodging three bullets makes a huge difference. Numbers and range both matter too. That's why sometimes you can get some faster than light results for lightning dodging feats. Then there's also Sora piloting the gummy ship which can travel from solar system to solar system in mere minutes. Now there's an argument I always get whenever I bring up controlling a vehicle for reaction time. Someone always says, Oh, well does that mean Star Trek characters are faster than light from their ship? Now admittedly, I don't know the first thing about Star Trek, so I can't really answer if there's faster than light feats in there or not. But if you're just referring to their ship traveling faster than light, I'm pretty sure that's because of their hyperdrive option, which I assume is automatic. Sora here is manually controlling the ship himself, dodging asteroids, shooting other enemy ships and such, so very clearly massively faster than light results. Kind of like Starship Mario in Super Mario Galaxy 2. And then you can get a lot more massively faster than light plus results for Sora if you include Disney scaling. Now Pit also has some massively faster than light stuff too. Scaling to enemies who have flown across the solar system, and even traveling across the solar system himself. Seems pretty close, but here's where the twist comes in. He was only able to do this with the Great Sacred Treasures and Palutena's permission. And that's where Pit's biggest weakness in this fight lies. Lots of his abilities require permission from Palutena, her commands, her guidance and such. While pretty much every last one of Sora's abilities can be used by himself, the only thing that requires outside help are his drive forms. But if Death Battle allows Palutena to help Pit give him guidance and such, then Sora should get Donald and Goofy pretty much allowing him to use his drive forms then. But after that, Pit would even have less of a chance because not only would Sora outnumber them 3 to 2, but also overpower them. Three solar system to multi-solar system level characters against two country level characters? Oh boy, what a mess. So yeah, I do like both of these characters, but this is a massive stomp in Sora's favor. So for the next death battle, I'm predicting the winner will be Sora from Kingdom Hearts.